Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week, week's edition of Meaningful Monday. Let's chat. You know, uh, doing Meaningful Mondays has been something that's been a great blessing to me. The challenge, however, is every week I want to do them spontaneous. I want to. I don't want to pre-record them in the sense of having them stacked up like everybody else. I want it just to be a conversation of what I'm feeling and where I'm going. And there's times when coming up with a topic is difficult. And I mentioned to Lori yesterday, I said, Lori, I said, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. And she said, Lee, just be yourself. Don't get into that gap of talking about something that you're not passionate about. And I really thought about that. And certain things happened since yesterday to today. You know, yesterday, Lori and I did a, an 18-mile, 17-mile hike. And why would we do that? We did a 17-mile hike because we're preparing for a 21-mile hike that goes seven miles down, seven miles across, and seven miles up. It's called the Grand Canyon Rim to Rim. We're going from the South Rim to the North Rim. And in preparation for that, that is something that I have learned so much from Lori that I'd like to share with you. There's lessons that are embedded in this that I'm continually learning, and I imagine and I expect to continue to learn all the way through this coming experience and then beyond, as it continues to teach me beyond that. But I've watched Lori, who came from a state of what I would say total unpreparedness physically. But mentally in her heart, she had it going for her. I doubted. I mean, I've doubted. I said, oh man, I don't know how she's going to do this. Because just walking up to the hill to our house, she'd have to stop. Because she hasn't really had that training. And hills, you know, you can walk a lot like this, but hills take a different toll on you. And so I was thinking about the toll on me and whether I can do it. And then looking at her, it really worried me. But yesterday was a watershed, and I don't mean because she was crying. She's had those experiences, but it was a watershed time because of what, how we handled that and the, how our bodies have changed and how they've adopted it, one small step at a time. And I really mean one small step at a time. She hired herself a trainer. She got herself a mentor that said, do this this day, this this day, this this day, this this day. When I first saw that, how in the world is she going to get prepared in time? He's got her taking this little hike for a few minutes and this little one, but he kept building on it and building on it and building on it. And she got in emotion immediately, and she's never missed a day. She made a commitment which led to the courage, led to courage to be able to carry it out. No capability other than she can walk. But in terms of her physical body, that body needed to develop capability, and it is. And so when I was so, I was so excited yet, uh, on Saturday as we finished to be able to see how the progress that she's made that's just ex starting to be exponential. Well, there's so many lessons in that. About halfway through, we stopped to, to have lunch. And we had, there's a little tiny cafe there. And you walk in and look at that menu and you go, mm, 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 raspberry, fresh raspberry shakes. One of my all-time favorites. You know, and boy, wouldn't I like to grab a shake and be able to eat that. But my body was saying, my mind is saying, it's hot, you deserved it, you've hiked down here. My body is saying, smartly so, you've got another eight and a half miles to hike and it's straight uphill. Don't take that shake. And I had no problem being tempted by it, none whatsoever. And I think about the resources that our body has when we're congruent. When we're congruent physically, spiritually, mentally, intellectually, when we're congruent, our whole body works for us. I listened to a great message recently on willpower. I'm going to I'll share more with you because it's so fresh in my head, I'm still sorting through it. But the person is an expert on willpower and talked about willpower, won't power, and want power. And willpower is all about not really willpower, it's about won't power. Because most of the time willpower is saying the things that we're not going to do. I won't do that anymore. I won't smoke anymore. I won't do this more. Willpower is really having the things that take us what we will do. But getting that want power, where you're really motivated, your whole body becomes physiologically in support and a cheerleader for you to get it done. To get it done. And so as we climbed that and got to the top and finished... We weren't exhausted. We, uh, we actually felt pretty good. Yes, we're sore. Yes, we're tired. But we weren't exhausted. And so I'm looking forward, so forward, to the, as this progresses, the new learnings that we're going to have. You know, I think that in our life, we tend to put off way too much. 
we tend to put off those things that matter most so that we can or that are essential so that we can be involved in things that are important i like what william george jordan says when he talks about those things that matter most those things that are essential when do we begin he says you should begin it today today is the only real day of life for us today is the tomb of yesterday and the cradle of tomorrow all of our past ends today all of our future begins today have a meaningful week I want to share with you you probably noticed the wacky pin here and I just want to make sure that I say thank you to those of you that are making contributions or in support of wacky if you've been in support of wacky in the past we've always rewarded you with this colorful wacky pin I can't believe how many people talk to us about this colorful wacky pin so I want to make sure that that uh, if it make sure you email me if for some reason you haven't received your pin and you've contributed email me lee at lee .com. if you want to be a wacky warrior go to our site go to lee .com or go to wacky warriors org or you can go to empoweredwealth.com and lead to wacky warriors just go to wacky warriors then you can go in there and see our events we've got a golf tournament in Orlando those of you that are golfers or or just want to have a blast at a wacky golf tournament at the third highest rated golf course in Florida it's free there's we you know the 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 you come as our guest but but we want you to come and be able to bet we're going to have so much fun there there's skills contests and some other things or you can make a contribution up front by making a contribution either while you're there or before come and golf with us at a wacky golf tournament it'll be a blast Secondly, if you want to support the Rim to Rim, there's already we're already filled up, there's no more spaces. But if you want to support the Rim to Rim, you can go in there and go down, pick one of the 30 participants. You may know someone there and be their sponsor. Even $7 a mile is only 147 bucks, but it's all going to support a, a young adults and adolescents that are living with cancer to give them outdoor experiences and to raise money for research research in a demographic that in the last 30 years, the mortality rate has not gone down. Thank you for making life meaningful. Begin it today. Today is the only real day for us. Today is the tomb of yesterday, the cradle of tomorrow, all of our past, and today. All of our future begins today. Make our future, make your future a meaningful future. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.